Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jeff. So in this video, we're gonna check out 17 Manse. This was released five years ago, way behind. <laughs> the reason why I suddenly wanted to react to this one is because I'm reacting to Produce 101. On the first challenge, um, one of the groups, um, well, two groups did Manse. I, I knew that 17 had a song called Manse, but I didn't really see the correlation until there were some high notes. And I was like, Manse, high notes. Those sound like Sun Kwan high notes. <laughs> so I'm like, okay, I gotta see this. So yeah, let's go check this out. So is this their debut song? Russian? Wait, hold on. Oh, there's no subtitles. Okay, wait, hold on, let's go back. Wow! Woo. <laughs> oh my God, Hoshi! Oh, the hair—they all different. Of course, they were way younger back then. <laughs> Oh, how dare she! Oh, hey! <laughs> oh, I can't wait for the dance practice. I'm doing it after this. Long hair for. Whoa! <laughs> This seems like it's gonna be a hard choreo. Joshua! Hey! Oh! Whoa, that was so synchronized! That's a lot of tennis balls. It's weird that before they would feature girls in music videos, but like you can't, you can see that barely now. Oh, careful there. Oh. <laughs> but this song though. I feel like this song is quite timeless because if they release this now, I think it would still be really good. The blue hair! Damn, that's long! It's a pretty well balanced um, distribution line, I feel like, for the rappers. That jump though, boom. Hey, bad lips. So I think these are DK. And then that's Sun Kwan. Those ones. That one is Sun Kwan, I'm sure. Nice. So the yeah the I f oh <laughs> girl I think the girl represents all the fans <laughs> okay um what does manse mean in Korea I'm gonna go Papa go <laughs> manse hooray it means hooray. All right, and then we're gonna do the hide version of the dance practice because this seems like it's going to be the fully focused one. Oh my god, they look so young. How old are they here? Seventeen. <laughs> nice. <laughs> That's a lot of fun. At what point did they 
Like when they when they debuted, were they like really synchronized already? Like it wasn't something that developed. Like I know some people are like synchronized, but Seventeen is like synchronized. You know what I mean? So was it always there? If this is their, their debut song, then I would say so based off what I'm seeing. But let me know if it's something that they were synchronized and then they kind of like became like freaking synchronized. <laughs> There's a difference. <laughs> so that was very smooth. Look at that body line though. Um, Hoshi. Look at this, right? There's a difference. So with the tippy toe. Oh, wait. Oh, the front two are in the front here, and then the right leg is the one that's curved, and then the one's at the back is, or the middle, with, is this Minghao, or? And then Hoshi here, they have their legs, the left leg. Huh? That's different. It's alternating. Oh! That's interesting. Yeah, so his is opposite. Okay. But that dynamic though, right? Oh, nice execution. So it's quite fast and then it smoothens and then goes fast again. And it's so early on in the song. So this choreography is already hard because it's so strong and energetic right off the bat. A lot of the songs nowadays, what I'm seeing is, all the ones that I've seen anyway, of course there's always expe exceptions, um, they would start out slowly and then it would go hardcore. But this is like fast and hardcore right away. A snap, boom. Nice, Uji. There's a lot of energy character. He has the essence of the musical theater, as we know. They're like the musical theater kids of K-pop. <laughs> a lot of character in the faces, in the body, execution. Like these kind of transitions, it's a little bit more comedic. Um, obviously because the song is very energetic and fun, um, but a lot of those are more so seen in musical theater because it's so exaggerated, right? <laughs> Even like... <laughs> hey! See those ones? Look at that levels. Wow. Nice! I don't know what else to say, it's so cool! <laughs> this part is incredible. Incredible. That, oh. Again, that is just... It's so explosive. If you put that in a dance competition, it would be a great, like, finale climax song. Um, or movement, choreo, or moment, combination. <laughs> um, because it starts out small, and then it spreads out and it's just like you know it's explosive it you know i don't know how many of you guys watch pitch perfect like the first one you know when that finale when um uh, the girls were singing and you know the moment that they were going to win because the song and like movement was just triumphant that's what it is it's a very triumphant choreography set of combinations because they, they start small and then boom, spreads out, right? And it's so synchronized, well formationed. Goes into this. So these kind of things are actually quite hard to do um, right after that big movement. Like that, right? It goes in and then out. Boom. And then your inner body goes in. Okay. In and out, too. Um, so that takes a lot of energy because they travel from the back to the front quite big. Um, 
what's the word for it? Quite far. <laughs> it travels quite far. And, and then they do these like little character -y things. It takes a lot of energy to do that travel, you know? Um, and then to go into here, what's smaller scale? It's, I would like <laughs> breathe, <laughs> but they're teens here. It seems like they're like, what? Late, um, late teens, early 20s here. You still have a lot of energy. Wait till you're like past mid 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that too. Look at that. Um, wait, I don't think I can show it when it's slow. Boom. Boom. Right? Boom. Those things are so great to hit because it's on a heavy beat and you just punch it, but it's so fast. Um, and it's it's a great technique for them to be all closed up together because that really uh, synchronizes them, especially when it's like that. It's so fast. When you're spread out in this moment, it's it would be a little bit harder to to synchronize or to look at make, make it look clean because it's so fast. The movement is so fast. The other one, it's even though it spreads out, it's it's um, even and explosive. It's still a little bit you know, kind of like that, right? It has some uh, space in between, but this one is like, boom, you know, it's, it's like you're punching. And if you guys try this with like different, with your dance crew, um, I guarantee you at first, it's not gonna look synchronized. So, uh, because it's so fast, the punch, and like even like how you punch, you're gonna know how, you're gonna need to know how to, what direction you need to punch. Because like when you goes, when it goes in, how far it goes in, is it like all the way here or is it just like here? And then, can you guys see the difference? Boom, boom. So is it like out here or is it like close to the chest? That kind of thing. So yes, great work on that. Boom, boom. Oh, it's like, like this kind of. <laughs> what? <laughs> but same mentality. <laughs> the baby. <laughs> this song really comes alive with this choreography. So I think in this choreo itself, everyone stands out. Like they're quite even. I think because there's a lot of um, choreographies that are the same, you know, it's not like by sections, like what they do now. Because I feel like now there are some people that stand out more than the others, but here, I feel like everybody's pretty even. Right? Look at that commitment at the back with a character, even though they're at the back. Nice. So that jump, it's, there's a suspension there there so it's like I always use this analogy if you play volleyball it's kind of like that moment where you spike there's a sense of suspension there um, to kick out and to have that synchronized because if you just it, it's the same idea if you you know in those when you're taking pictures um, with your friends and you're like I want a jumping picture and then it's never synchronized right you need to have that suspense and to kind of do that, I don't know how to best explain it, to be honest with you. Um, there's there's a sense of suspension. I don't know. How, yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but like the essence of it is like when you're doing a volleyball spike. Boom. Right? Again. Boom. This fucking knee work, it still hurts. Even if it's that small, it hurts still. <laughs> this one, oh, so cool. Oh, Sun Kwan's high notes. I think it's Sun Kwan's. Sun Kwan's or DK's. Wow, nice. Of 17 concerts, it's just gonna be hype, right? I'm still waiting for the VOD of their online concert. 
I would love to see it. <laughs> Maybe I'll just buy the O to you one on V Live and and check them out there until I can see them live. Yeah. So obviously this was very strong. Like there's nothing, anything critical for me to say. Not that I'm looking for any, but nothing stuck out to me. Well executed. Lots of energy. Great synchronization. Like that's all I can really say. It's this kind of performance and choreography is hard to synchronize. Um, and a lot of you guys are dancers, the ones that watch my channel, and you guys know this. You guys know how hard it is to synchronize something like this. Um, it takes a little bit of time. Um, the luxury for us dancers, even though we're competing and stuff, is that we have the luxury of time, right? When I was still in high school and we would do dance competitions, we would maybe like form a routine um, practice it for like two months and you know a month or two to prepare and then we would polish it a lot but we know that idols don't have a lot of time but like for comebacks you know it's getting shorter and shorter I feel like um, because there's demand so I know for Hoshi, uh, for Uji and Hoshi um, with composing and, and choreogra choreographing it's it's a lot for them to do so it just speaks to their harmony and their talent and their learning curve their learn curve is really fast, right? So, yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching with me today. I hope that you enjoyed it. And if you did, do like and subscribe. And if you do subscribe, make sure you tick that notification bell so you don't miss any content from me. And if you'd like to get to know more about me, do check out my Instagram and Twitter down below.